Good morning everyone. So I've been meaning to make another video but this week has been a bit challenging. We've had some relatives visiting which has been great but also Jed's sleeps have not been going well this week so it's been a bit hard to find the time. So I just thought I'd do maybe a little vloggy style walk and chit chat thing. Um, so it's actually quite funny because Jed was I had a lot of trouble with getting Jed to sleep for his naps for the first few months and then probably a few weeks ago around the four month mark his naps in the day just started working for us to the point where the other day I actually was about to make a video to give tips on daytime sleeping. That's hilarious. Um, so this week they've just been a bit more challenging although thankfully this morning he did have a good one I'm so grateful I really really needed that um, he's coming up to leap five so maybe that has something to do with it I'm not sure he's also discovered his screaming voice anyway you take it a day at a time but um I just wanted to yeah, I just wanted to keep the momentum going because I'm kind of enjoying having a little bit of a creative outlet and a little bit of a hobby for myself with this uh, YouTube thing. I'm not taking it seriously really, but it is nice to, to have a little outlet. So I'll just make a little vlog. Uh, um, yeah, I guess I wanted to just mention as well, this past uh, week I've been a little bit up and down with my mood with a little bit of I would call it mild depression more than a bad day but not severe depression and I suppose I just wanted to mention that for two reasons well first of all I don't actually want to be about negativity and I am all for positivity thinking positively and I'm really all about natural health and Whenever I feel bad or down, I, I really want to do stuff to improve my situation, not kind of wallow. And I always bring myself up quickly again and end up feeling quite good quite quickly. I'll probably feel good again tomorrow. But I did want to bring this up because I think while it's so important to have positive role models and, you know, people want to watch others that are uplifting and and inspiring but I also think it's so important to be honest about this stuff because it can be all too easy to, to sort of think oh my gosh what's wrong with me why is everybody else just smashing this mum thing and um, and I'm struggling and I think it's important to acknowledge that that it can be really tough sometimes and that you can have little bouts of depression to varying degrees of um, severity and just know that there's others that have go through the same thing and we shouldn't be afraid to talk about it and it's really important to connect with others so this is not to wallow in that or to make this post about that but I have been struggling and I know the trigger for my struggle actually is his sleep is a massive factor because um, when he doesn't sleep it gives me anxiety and I don't get a break either and that's a trigger for me so hopefully he can get back on track babies just go through phases and he's going through one Dale and your little hoodie came off. How do we get him black and white? Okay, so we've just come to the park and we're just having a little sit here. I um, I don't have a camera with a flippy thing, so I have no idea what this looks like. Hopefully it will turn out okay. But anyway, so so self-conscious of doing this anyway um so to bring it back to a positive note i'm i'm feeling all right i have been dipping up and down a bit but 
I know that I will be okay. We're just going through a challenging phase. And um, this one is extremely cute, which, which helps. I think that it's really important when you're a mum and especially if you're sort of by yourself most of the day to make a point to get out of the house even if you have no plans that day. I think it's so important to have social things on your calendar whether it's just catching up with a, for a friend with a, for a coffee or um, you know doing some kind of fitness activity, going for a walk, um, seeing your mom, your mom, mother-in-law, whatever it is. Um, or if you have nothing on that day, just go for a walk. I just find, I find the mornings quite hard when um, it's cold, especially in winter and there's, you know, a lack of sun and you um, are in your house and your PJs and it's a bit dark and the day seems like a long stretch ahead of you. I find that once we get through that morning nap and then we get out in the pram or we go for a walk, get some sunshine and, you know, see other people around us at the park, I just feel so, so much better, like connected and just part of the world and just the fresh air and the sunshine do us a world of good, doesn't it, Getty? So yeah, that's what we're doing today. And what else can I talk about? Oh yes, I said, I said earlier, let me just check something. Yes, we are still recording. I was saying earlier that I was sort of on the cusp of making a video about sleep tips and hilarious because that's gone out the window but he did have a good sleep this morning and I had to resettle him a few times so look to give credit where credit's due I did work very hard at getting him being able to nap in the day and join cycles and stuff it was um, it was really really hard to begin with and I think he will get back to it I just believe he's going through a little phase this week so I will share a few tips why not um, so, briefly, having him sleep in his cot during the day where he sleeps at night has been a big factor. We put lockout shutters in the room so that we can make the room dim. I think that helps. We also have a routine. So every, every nap we do the same thing. We, we wind down, we read a little story. Oh, darling, good bet. Um, wind down, have a little story. Um, give him a little cuddle, put him in bed. The, the turning point for me when his naps really started working was when I started doing something that I thought would not work at all. And that was putting him in the cot awake and leaving the room. I thought there's absolutely no way I can do that. He's never going to go to sleep. But it worked so much better than trying to sort of stand there and pat him until he calmed down completely. When I was previous, previously trying to stand there and calm him down, he would just escalate. So what I, what I started doing was I put him down in the cot, I pull up his blankets, I um, give him his dummy because he has a dummy. I put a little his little cuddly toy next to his ear. I put my hand on his chest, I say, have a good nap, Jetty, and I quickly get on out of there. Sometimes he'll go straight to sleep, other times I'll have to come back in the room a few times to uh, replace the dummy at the beginning and resettle. But um, from the start that I, set, that I began doing that, his nap started working a lot better and he started learning how to put himself into a sleep. Um, so that's, that was the key basically, putting down awake but drowsy and leave the room. If you have to come back in the room several times to resettle him, doesn't matter give him the chance to fall asleep himself and he will get it again you know he might have a great lunch sleep today I mentioned earlier we've had relatives here this week I've been going back and forth to my mum and dad's house so the routine has been a bit bit off anyway that could be it it could be late five it could be teething it could be whatever I don't know anyway I think that that, I think that's a really good tip. It seemed to work for us for a good few weeks. We were getting excellent day naps. I thought, I've got this. We'll see what happens later. Anyway, um, I don't think we really have much else to go into today. And there are some teenage boys getting closer to the frisbee. So I'm going to end this here. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.
What do you think? I think yeah. So, yeah, Jed's current wake time, he's uh, just gone five months, his current wake, awake time between naps is two to two and a half hours. So, um, it's kind of like you have to time your little outings to make sure that they get their sleep again. Um, I don't know whether it's just me being an anxious mum or whatever, but I prefer him to be home for most of his sleeps just because I think that um, he gets a more restorative sleep and when we're when he does nap out and about which I do do from time to time I just find that it's always a shorter nap and I know that he's getting good quality sleeps when he's at home and honestly it's easier for me because when he has a bad nap I've, or when he has a short nap I have to give him an extra one anyway a couple of hours later but um Around the six month mark is when they start to have two naps a day instead of three. And not to project forward or anything, I, I try my hardest not to do that, but well, I'm about to do it now. <laughs> I am kind of looking forward to there only being two naps. It's just sort of having that a little bit more awake time or time to play with, to do things with him and be out and about without having to be on the clock so much because we're walking out and if I was walking close to his sleep time he'd be getting really sleepy and drift drifting off but then what would happen is oh my arm's getting so hot. he'd have a little cat nap in the pram and then not be able to get to sleep in his cot for a while so we are going home to do that but mister is still uh still awake still happy Chip bad. Jetty, before we get to sleep, we just have to. I know, I know, I know. You want to get out, but like, what the heck? Okay, you're practicing screaming. I get it, I get it, I get it. But I really need to have a look at this Oreo. Hi everyone, so I just wanted to let you know that Jed is asleep and he has been asleep for over half an hour now so I'm going to consider that a win but I hope that he goes through two, half, uh, sorry, two hours that's the goal um, so I'm not going to keep vlogging today I'm going to hopefully edit this and throw it up while he's asleep throw it up online I mean um, the rest of the today I think I might have a friend uh, catching up with a friend later uh, that's about it and um, oh yes welcome to my new subscriber I have six subscribers guys like I am so popular so um there's someone coming such a nervous Nelly vlogger it's hilarious um anyway 
as I was saying, welcome to my new subscriber. It's lovely to have you here. And if you guys want me to make any videos, let me know because there's only six of you. So I can probably do a video if you ask me. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.